Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate Season 2 Episode Number 2 Reaction. Okay, the previous episode, the first episode of Season 2, um, we meet a new character. His name is Katai Makoto as far as I can remember. And he is one of those characters who has a very tough exterior, you know, like he looks like some kind of a very angry person. But in the inside, she he's like one of the most kind-hearted and soft-spoken person. <laughs> you know, he, he was like that. And we kind of get his little story about how he missed the entrance, like, you know, like ceremony because of, uh, like, you know, I think his stomach started aching or something like that. And uh, he missed it. And then he didn't, like, you know, end up attending school for a long time. And he thought, like, you know, he kind of worked out within that time. He became muscular, like, you know, big and then tied his hair and he became like a complete like you know outside his exterior looks like a complete delinquent and he came to school and everyone's like oh my god look at him and uh, you know like he he's awkward he's basically awkward he tries to make friends with komi who is considered not considered but who is obviously the most popular student and uh, komi gets shocked <laughs> so she shows so shocked that she just freezed while Makoto was thinking like, oh, maybe like, you know, like, and Makoto was also kind of like, kind of scared as well. Like, since Komi just looked him dead in the eye, just freezed completely. So, like, you know, to break that misunderstanding, uh, Tadano, who obviously is like, you know, like a master uh, for people who are awkward, you know, he's able to understand their feelings and everything. <laughs> he just talked with him and made, you know, make, made good friends with him. And so, yeah, Makoto is also our friend now. And uh, Makoto ha ended up having the misunderstanding that Komi was the one who <laughs> made Tadano and him interact. And he's like, oh, Komi is the master of communication, which is quite funny considering what Komi actually is like. <laughs> that was that. And then there was that little section where they go to their house, um, you know, like uh, Nakanaka's house again to study this, that, and the playing video games, you know, usual stuff. And then the final portion where we get to the test where uh, Komi loses his uh, her pencil and isn't able to pick it up because you know like you need to like you know let the teacher know and Tadano ends up helping her out. Tadano also kind of like you know messes up after that and Komi helps him out with her eraser and you know yeah, that was like a nice little scene. Let's see what this episode brings. This is episode number two of Komi Can Communicate season two. And I think I'll keep this day fixed, you know, for uh, the, like, you know, my reactions. Because as I said, like, you know, like the, uh, since it's Fran translated, it might be like, you know, one or two day delayed. So I'm going to keep this day, like, you know, fixed. Like uh, my Komi reactions will come out on this day. Hopefully, like, you know, if the subtitle versions comes out within that time. So yeah, let's get started then. This is episode number two. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Typhoon, okay. That's an interesting title. Hmm. <laughs> I like how she has the pictures in the background. <laughs> Little <laughs> cat ears. <clears throat> Typhoon, okay. Go back. Go back to your room. Okay, this is the proper opening. We heard the song, but this is the first time seeing the visuals. Okay, uh, Kata is there. I'm kind of appreciative of the fact that Kata actually became friends with Tadano. <laughs> Oh, this scene. <laughs> 
Oke. Okay. <laughs> Makoto. Yo, Makedu. These are some new characters I can see. That guy is here. We saw him in the trailer. Wait, what the? What was that? My god, so many characters. What the hell? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the option. <laughs> so excited. But she's like, what should I do even in my house? There you go. All right. Just sit down, I guess. Nothing to do. Uneasy doing bad weather, okay. Oh my god, I, I remember we used to do this. Kind of right on the, the yeah. <laughs> oh no. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a cat. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Okay, Tata, I'm scrolling. Yep. Yeah. So they don't have a power outage at that their place. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is happening? Ah, you know you're not Daijobu. Okay. You probably tell him to be on the line. Yeah, unless and until her mom comes in. <laughs> oh, the mom is like, all right, let me not get in. Oh wow, okay, just as he was saying. Yo, Osana is... Uh... <laughs> Why? Is Komi not here? Oh no, never mind. Oh my... Yo, what? Okay. <clears throat> what? Yo, calm down. Okay. Water. Oh no. Oh no. She's going to use the water plan. Oh no. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. She's making all the calculations and everything. Oh my god, she's just going to kill Najimi now. Oh no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh 
Okay, someone stopped her, please. Please stop her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. Oh, God. Okay, never. Mind. I thought she was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later, again, it starts. Fantasies. Jiarai Shigeo. Kono da shinobi no. Musical from Kaz was there. Najini arc. Najini arc. Okay. Okay, fantasies. I realize the reason for the. <laughs> they are in full on fantasy mode. Agari chan, okay. Oh, okay, he, um, yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, these fantasies. Okay, Yamais. Oh no, 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 run, run, dude. He's probably pissed that Komi's not here. Oh, damn. Okay. Yo, you guys don't know Yamai at all. She's not a Sundar, she's a Yandre. Oh my god, you guys. Yeah! Like, what? Naka Naka chan. Okay. She'd be like, what the hell, dude? Yeah. <laughs> well, a gamer girl. <laughs> I feel like this... Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like this is a lot nicer. Inaka-chan. Who's Inaka? Oh, Inaka, okay. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Daughter of my master snakes though neighbor. What the hell is that? <laughs> she eats like that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Makeru-chan, okay. Should probably make this into a competition. There you go. She, he's a ninja, so obviously. <laughs> okay. That seems nice.
Okay, what else? Oh yeah, Komi. This uh, yeah, we were not going into that up until now. So I don't think they'll be able to. Yeah, they won't be able to. Yeah, think of anything because. <laughs> Wow. Komisan arc. Okay, let's see this. Probably Tadano's, yeah. Uh, imagination. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Damn, he's fantasizing about after they're already married. Like, that's some. <laughs> that's some high level imagination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Cat cafe. Oh. Okay. I'm interested. I love cats. Like <laughs> Not Jimmy. Wait, what? Oh, oh, really? Okay, that's a shame. <laughs> All right, then he's the one who's left. Um, I feel like Yama is probably listening in. Why? What happened? Uh, she just came. Why? Why did he refuse to go? Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, Otto is here. I feel like she's perfect here. In, in a cat cafe, you know, Otori. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Um, but Komi is, yeah. Wow. Yeah, as I said, her personality is perfect for this place. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah. You, you know what, like, completely erase your presence. Oh, there's a high level one. Oh, wait, what? Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. What is this guy? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, let me go. Let's see. <laughs> Lights back. Oh no. Okay. Yo, yo this. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Mm.
Oh my god. <laughs> Cat is completely. <laughs> okay, I feel like after this, all the cats are going to go to her. Because it's the boss. But the boss is going. So, I'm guessing everyone will follow. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a fat cat. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, even the cats are blushing. <laughs> okay, that's nice. I was thinking, why did Tadano not go? Why did he not go? Tadano didn't go even though he had no other friend because he wanted to Oh, oh my god. Damn. Sacrificed himself, I guess. Thinking for three days. <laughs> I, oh my god, I love what? Okay. Hmm. Damn. Went directly to Ice Tail, not even Suki. Okay. Oh, because of that, I still can. Oh. <laughs> Lost. I doubt she's going to... She doesn't talk that much, so she'll probably write it down or something. <laughs> uh oh wow, she just lost. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she did laugh, you know, a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. That's just... <laughs> ultimate weapon. <laughs> he knows that he's the ultimate weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, it's just a game, alright. Wow, Yama's going to probably kill him after this. <laughs> yeah, your face says something else. Hmm. <laughs> Um. Oh, really? Okay. Wait, what? Uh. Oh, she's probably going to blush us. Okay, let's see. I feel like, yeah. 
Yep. There you go. Yeah, the prospect of him saying that. Yeah, made her embarrassed. Oh, that's it. Okay. I love this ending because you know this the song itself is really good but other than that like it feels like everyone's doing something in this ending like 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 you could just focus on one character and see what you know like that person is doing and like they're like each and every character is doing something like that's a really interesting way that they did this ending song like there's like they're playing table tennis Najimi is doing something, Yama is doing something there. <laughs> Najimi and uh, Yama and Nakanaka. Katai is there. I, I, I really like the fact that Katai actually became friends with Tadano, you know? Like, I was just talking about this in season one. I said that I really hope that this doesn't end up like a whole thing which just focuses around Komi, where Komi gets all the friends. I really wanted Tadano to have someone, you know, like to talk to, you could say. Like, oh, oh there's a little bonus here. Okay, I'll talk about that later. Oh, he's back to the Neko Cafe. Ah, there she is. Or is it a he? I don't know. <laughs> Uh paw imprint. Oh <laughs> You got a cat friend. That's nice. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, I as I said that I really didn't want this to become like that whole thing of where Komi gets all the friends. And one thing I, I noticed, like uh the people who are Komi's friends, uh the the major ones like you know are obviously talks with tadano this and that that happens but most of them you know like don't even register tadano you know as like you know like an acquaintance or something like that even they just ignore him most of the time and which i don't know why I, it really bothered me a little bit um because like it's, it's a really awkward thing you know like having like a circle of friends where you are the odd one out where like you know two of the friends talk with you while the other five of them don't talk to you they talk with the person who is like the center of attention it's like a very awkward type of a position and i know that like you know and i felt like tadan was going through that type of a whole situation where it would be like you know like najimi is a good friend of tadano she's going to talk to him uh komi as well um agari also talks with him like you know occasionally now now and then they're good friends nakanaka as well you know sometimes um yamai has a completely different relationship with tadano i feel like she just <laughs> gets pissed off at him most of the time because he spends more time with komi uh but yeah these few actually interact with him while all the others you know they uh, um no onemine also kind of talks with him i guess yeah yeah onemine also has a good relationship with him uh but most of the others they are just there for komi and you know like that whole karaoke episode felt extremely painful to me where it, it was very clear that nobody even gave a like you know crap about tadano and like you know i was i was thinking like and i really hope there comes a person who's actually more friends with tadano than komi and i feel like uh, katai is that person you know like i think he's the only person who is more friends with tadano than komi i don't know how it will go how it's going to progress but i feel like he'll be the only person who not only but i feel like he'll be the person uh and so he is the first person who is you know who has like a deeper friendship with um uh, tadano than komi and i'm i'm glad about that you know like because tadano needs a few people like this i would have said that uh, najimi also is has a deeper friendship with tadano but najimi is everyone's osana najimi so she she's pretty neutral you know like on all like on you know, all fronts like she's friends with everybody and that kind of defeats the whole purpose so that's why you know like a singular person who would be a better friend with tadano than komi i wanted that and here you go because i don't know like you know i feel like it is needed like you know, at least one or two person like to be there for him 
you know when he has like you know some trouble or something like that i don't know maybe it's just me but you know like i'm glad that kata is here now and uh yeah i want to see what happens in the future as well <clears throat> all right anyways um enough about that so we start this episode with a typhoon uh komi tries to go out but it's typhoon time and <laughs> the school has been like you know stopped for the moment and uh, now i don't know what type of typhoon that i guess like you know this type of typhoon probably happens in japan now and then where it suddenly comes and goes but because typhoons here at least in my place it it usually like you know kind of like you know goes on for a couple of hours like you know six to seven hours it kind of goes on little by little so like you know happens like you know i i was really surprised when they said like you know typhoon is going to happen the typhoon happened and it also ended within that same section and the like, school resumed after that but yeah in the beginning we see it was heavily raining wind blowing and komi wasn't able to go out comes in and she's like uh, a little excited that it's kind of a day off but at the same time <laughs> she's, she's prepared herself she's a little bit frustrated she's like oh i don't know <laughs> it's a it's a what do you call it you know weird feeling you could say so she goes back and uh, yeah nothing to do what can we even do in the typhoon just sits around and kind of blows on the window pane <laughs> makes a cat face <laughs> i remember doing that when it was raining you know um and inside a car i used i used to do that i'm i'm pretty sure everyone did that um you know in the in the window panes we used to kind of do <laughs> like you know do like you know make pictures out of our fingers with our fingers and oh boy a thunderstorm hits uh, not thunderstorm sorry a thunder like you know kind of hits the whole power go, goes down and uh, yeah komi is scared obviously uh, <laughs> uh thankfully uh, komi's mom was there but komi's mom was like you know what i i need to get your brother and see if the breaker is down or not so she leaves here over there <laughs> and komi is just scared stiff thankfully tada no calls him her and us about what's happening this and that with the power gone and um, <clears throat> i feel like these like at the rare moments when you know whenever like there's a phone call, call it's it's those rare moments when komi actually talk and i really appreciate those because otherwise <laughs> i kind of forget what her voice is actually like <laughs> oh my god but yeah uh she you know she she's talking about it and then she says like you know what can you stay in the line for a while because her mom was not there and the mom was just <laughs> from the corner just looking at that whole situation and she decided to not go and intrude on the moment and uh, yeah the i think the power line comes up after, out uh, up after that and uh, the weather is cleared back to school again <laughs> yeah So after that uh we get to the next section where Yamai is just oh my god she is <laughs> she's a uh, she's a specimen <laughs> she's just thinking about how like you know to you know peek underneath uh, Komi skirts and uh, like you know the way the whole thing started she starts talking about oh the weather you know the weather is good now the typhoon is gone uh komi is here and i was thinking okay like so maybe she's like you know uh you know thinking about something completely else like you know, talking about the weather and everything i thought she was thinking about something else never really thought that was what was going inside her head like completely different topic and uh, yeah her her mind runs in a very unusual way <laughs> now Oh my god I I feel like this this whole palo thing okay she actually gets the idea from a drool she drool so much <laughs> she drool so much that she is able to see the reflection of her face and that's where the idea hits that oh I could do this to peek underneath and oh my god like I I feel like a few animes kind of did this before uh I don't remember which it is it was but a few animes kind of did this whole puzzle strategy where obviously like you know kids try to do that peek underneath you know and obviously they failed uh, so yeah uh, yamai gets that idea from that 
from her drool <clears throat> and she's like oh let's go to the court uh, you know like the outside and there's puddles over there and Komi's excited poor Komi doesn't realize um you know what is going on in Yamai's head he's just like you know just happy about the fact that oh yeah, I can probably splash on some puddles while Yamai in his head is just thinking of some like you know <laughs> of these type of uh what do you call it uh, evil schemes it's like going in her head <clears throat> Tadano was able to realize what was happening and Tadano also follows them okay then obviously Najimi is just splashing around so y Yamai gets pretty pissed off Yamai's like what the hell Najimi come here like and I'm going to show you <laughs> and then the wind comes in and he she tries multiple times to do something you know, the wind comes in Komi just you know saves herself unfortunately Agari isn't able to and then she tries to snap pictures but the mud completely you know went on in the way came in the way and it completely censored the whole thing <laughs> so <clears throat> she is pretty frustrated and <clears throat> The rainbow comes up and Agari looks at the rainbow. Uh, not Agari, sorry, um, Yamai. Uh, I mixed up their name. Yamai looks up at the rainbow and she gets this enlightenment. And when she's like, ah, oh, like, what am I doing? You know, like, <laughs> like you know, this, like, you know, this beautiful scenery and I'm doing these type of stuff. She gets completely enlightened over there. And she's like, let me just forget about that. And let's look at this beautiful scenery. And everyone is just spellbound at that scene. And then two days later, he go, she goes back to the same like, you know, sh shenanigans, thinking about the same thing. So yeah, unfortunately, it didn't work. It, it worked, but for two days only. <laughs> the enlightenment wore off completely. The next part is fantasies or delusions, where these three... Okay, let me, you know what, let me check their names out again. Kiarai Shigeo, uh, Shinobi no Mono, and Sonoda Taisei. Okay. <clears throat> so, these three thinks about the person who they would like to date. And uh, every character gets an appearance here. It starts with Najimi and goes on one by one by one. And obviously Najimi was that, like, you know, that happy you know like cheerful childhood friend who is just you know excited like you know kind of takes like you know like man what do you call it like takes a little nibble out of the other person's ice cream and uh, you know it's like basically that you know, they kind of go to a cafe this that it's, it's, a, it's a normal childhood friend route you know and <laughs> that was nice in itself the next one was um Agari and oh boy and yeah obviously Agari is just you know like <laughs> we saw what happened and you know like obviously these are some <laughs> you know like the, the, these like you know <laughs> what, what do you call it I forgot their names uh, those three uh, those three of them those three of them uh, they were like you know in the full-on delusional mode and um yeah that whole Agari Agari scene and uh, she's like you know quiet shy kind of blushing you know and that whole like you know fantasy and they were they like they were so much into that they all like two of them just, just stood up completely after that whole situation i mean stood up from the chairs um <laughs> and then <laughs> the next one was yamai which is completely wrong in my opinion like what the hell that's not yamai who who are who are you fantasizing about you don't even know have enough information about the person you're fantasizing about so it breaks like you know, defeats the whole purpose they completely changed Agari's personality there I don't know what these like, you know these three guys are doing you know, they have no freaking idea what they're messing with <laughs> they made Agari into a sundre like what like no I, it's unacceptable <laughs> and oh my god and Tadano is also like, you know, like saying like, you, you guys don't even know, like, you know, Yamai like that. That you are like, you know, that you've completely made a huge misunderstanding with her personality. Like, <laughs> so yeah, that was, that one was completely wrong. Uh, the next one is uh, Nakanaka. 
which I kind of agree with. I feel like she would be like that, you know, just hanging around. Uh, a gamer girl, just, you know, like, when you're playing video games, she's going to help you out. And, uh, yeah, you know, you can bond with, like, you know, with the topic of video games between you. And, yeah, that's nice. Uh, the next one was uh, Inaka. Yeah, Inaka, I think. And Inaka is, like, you know, as we saw, like, you know, the village girl just... Um, like I kind of had a little um, dialect, you know, uh, and uh, she just, you know, brings you food. Uh, those like you know, vegetables and all that, like she brings her to Shinobi no Mono. And uh, it's just, you know, like another happy, calm, peaceful scene. And uh, the next one was Makeru, where uh, Makeru was also a lot peaceful scene, you know, when she kind of, kind of, made the whole thing in the competition she's like oh race you to the you cannot race you to the house and she goes like you know ahead and she kind of is excited about that whole situation another cute uh like you know fantasy so all of them were over and the whole like you know the original like you know the their actual reason for starting this which i'm pretty sure was komi that whole topic comes and they're like yeah let's talk about komi then and Oh boy, like Komi is in such a pedestal that no one is even able to come up with a viable fantasy. Like she's like in, in that type of a pedestal. Like they, like, you know, they completely go mad for a moment. Like, you know, just like tearing you know, their hair. They're like, what is happening? We cannot find any fantasy where we could put her in. <laughs> like, oh my God, you know, this, this whole scene kind of it's very funny you know like because as i said like when they put komi in such a pedestal that they can't even imagine you know something like that and like, I mean, it it literally feels like she, she's a goddess wherever you know like like god gods and goddesses they're like in such you know such a pedestal that if you think about like you know like you know like something complicated and you know you could go completely mad or something like that you know and it feels like komi is like that because they went crazy thinking about the whole situation because nothing came into their mind <laughs> they were freaking out like you know and it was, it was just chaos well tadano obviously you know tadano is the person who is the closest to her so he was able to easily come up with a good fantasy you know the delusion what do you call it and uh, yeah it was basically then you know married and uh, like this is the only uh, obviously i feel like tadano has the uh, ability to go that far like all all these scenes you saw you know before uh, where all of them were thinking about what they would do if they're dating but tadano goes completely into marriage <laughs> that's the power level of tadano i guess when when something re related to komi happens so he went completely <laughs> to marriage and they were like you know kind of eating together doing the dishes yeah happy you know happy delusion and he got embarrassed obviously and started screaming <laughs> all right the next one nah, cat cafe oh boy i uh, okay here's like and i don't know if you guys know but i love cats you know? i love cats and uh yeah, like I like, like I'm really kind of like you know envious of Japan, where Japan has cat cafes where you could go and pet cats. You know, like I'm really envious, you know, because there's no such thing here. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any. I, I'm not sure, but I feel like Japan has like the only cat cafes. So maybe the other countries also have them. I have no idea. But at least in my place, there's no such thing like that. So yeah, like um, I am also kind of envious about it, and I understand Komi's <laughs> Komi's feelings here because she was so excited, but then none of the cats go to her. Um, so at first, Komi was like excited. Komi was like, "All right, let's go to the cat cafe." Tells Najimi, but Najimi is like, "Nope, I cannot go. I have, have allergy." And uh, Tadano says that he's going to go but then he stops now here i wasn't able to understand why he stopped and i was like why like, you know, he could have just gone with her but like this this whole thing was kind of weird to me because you know like tadano did that so that komi can ask someone else 
like yeah that's all well and good but couldn't he also tag along after that like i feel like he could have easily done that like you know like if she like komi asked someone to hang out with her you know and after that happens talon would also be like all right i'll also go or something like that you know i, I think he could have easily done that but yeah he, or, or i guess he probably felt a little bit embarrassed to bring that whole topic up himself maybe or maybe he wanted komi to go with the other friends so that she can interact with them without Tadano's help or something like that who knows it's probably something along those lines but yeah Tadano did not say anything so Onimine comes and uh, <laughs> Onimine was ready <laughs> without even writing the whole thing Onimine was like yeah sure I'll go <laughs> and yeah they arrive in a cat cafe Otori is there as well Otori comes in and I feel like Otori's personality is perfect for cats, you know, she's so calm, you know, like very you know, like settled down and everything. So yeah, the cats easily go to her, flock to her. And uh, yeah, they start petting the cats and everything. Omi is that type of a person who gets so excited looking at cats that cats actually freak out. He's like, oh, and the cats are like, oh, nope, I'm not going beside that creature. And they run away. So yeah, the cats freak out, run away. Um, Onimine is like, all the cats are like, you know, surrounding Onimine and I don't know what the hell she did over there, just kind of <laughs> rubbing the face of the cat's stomach. <laughs> Even after doing that, the cats were not freaking out, like, imagine. And Komi was extremely jealous about that. So, yeah, Komi tries to get close to the cats, but not happening. One of the cats was sleeping, so she tries to go there. Um, and then we meet the boss cat. Uh, what's her name? Chocola. Yeah, Chocola. And uh, <laughs> I loved the whole section where Chocola was talking with the other cats. The other cats were like, boss, boss, like there's a scary human here this time. And Chocola was like, ha, the pesky humans always touching our fur without even thinking of whether we like it or not. And then there's like catnip beside her. He just puts it in his... Uh, <laughs> And then he is it a he or a she female okay she there you go it's like a female sign beside her okay it's a female okay so she um Chocola, she's like huh pesky humans and she looks at komi and she's like yeah she's giving out an aura which is kind of freaking me out as well but he's like all right she's like all right let's let's keep an eye on her and uh, she observes her and sees how none of the cats go to her this that and probably feels bad <laughs> oh my god the other cat completely is just <laughs> like completely knocked out after sniffing all that catnip i'm guessing and eating all the catnip <laughs> that was funny okay chocolate throws away the catnip goes to komi and everyone's like boss boss is going oh the you know he's the brave she's the bravest and uh, i f i felt like after this all the cats would probably go back go to komi because you know like the boss went there so everyone would get more courage to go to her uh, which i'm sure will happen in the future probably uh, because chocola was pretty comfortable with komi after that chocola go goes to komi and you know just like a cat does kind of meows at her <laughs> uh, and sits down on her lap and yeah, they just snap a picture. Everyone was just, you know, like the whole situation where Komi was uh, meowing at the cat. Everyone was just blushing, looking at that scene. Even the cats were blushing. And I'm like, damn. And yeah, like, there you go. The, they snapped the picture and probably, yeah, and sent it to Tadano, I think. <laughs> and Tadano was like, I should have gone. And uh, like, this is what I was thinking. Like, you know, Tadano could have gone. Like, you know, he wanted Komi to ask, um, like, you know, others out with her own like you know on her own so he didn't intrude on that but she could have he could have easily in the end say that you know what i'll also hang out like you know go with you guys uh, but it's probably yeah like he probably wanted komi to hang out with the others or something like that most probably because all the time sadhana being with komi you know i feel like yeah he probably thought that she also needs to do this on her own anyways all right and then comes the next section the 
the I still game, you know, or I love you game, and uh, if the other person blushes, you're out. Uh, that person is out. So <laughs> the whole thing starts, and Yamai basically wanted to hear that from Komi's mouth. So she doesn't care if Komi uh, like you know reacts or not. So yeah. Komi is just completely stoic faced, like you know, not doing anything. And Yamai tries a lot, nothing happens. But she, her main goal, as I said, was Komi telling it to her. Fantasizing about that whole situation, she started laughing and blushing. And she laughed. <laughs> as easy as that. Uh, Najimi comes in and they all try, you know, they all try a lot of times. You know, Najimi also tries a lot. Um, at first, kind of, Komi kind of laughed because she was not like, like you know aware, like you know ready for the situation. Uh, but then she was completely like you know like her face was all you know completely stoic. And uh, Najimi is like, all right, I have the best weapon for this. Tadano, come. And <laughs> Yamai was freaking out. <laughs> oh my god. And. Uh, Tarano starts blushing when trying to tell that, but then, you know, like, yeah, like, I think Najimi was like, oh, you're out. Tarano's like, why? Like, I'm the person who's going to tell it. And she, she's like, yeah, but it wouldn't be fair, you know? No one should blush or laugh. So, yeah, she, he tries to do that. Unfortunately, it's impossible. So, Komi is like, all right, you know what? Let me go to the toilet. And, uh, yeah. She leaves outside, she's completely <laughs> red faced, putting her hands on her face and yeah, that was, that was nice. And she's like, oh, it's, I'm glad it's over. But at the same time, she wanted that to continue as well. <laughs> so yeah, that was a nice little section as well. So yeah, and that was this episode. Uh, I, I love the, the, that whole part of the fantasy, the delusion part was pretty entertaining I, I liked how like you know seeing the different characters in the different situations even though it was completely delusional you know but still it was kind of interesting and uh, other than that oh the cat cafe was also really cute i loved the the cat oh and in the end we see the cat also became the friend it gave a little paw print you know so yeah komi gained another friend you could say like obviously like there's no mention like you know it, it's not mentioned anywhere that uh, friends could be only humans so yeah we could make Animal, she could make animal friends as well. That's also going to count. And this cat is pretty human-like, you know, like she, she understands everything that's happening. So <laughs> might as well. <laughs> oh. And uh, yeah, so yeah, Komi gained a new friend here. That's nice. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my reaction to episode two of Komi Can't Communicate season two. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm going to keep uh, try and keep uh, the reactions to this day, and uh, next week and this day as well. Like you know, I'm going to react to the third episode uh, if it comes out by that time. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week with another episode of Comic Can't Communicate Season Two. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.